Do you feel that? Football is back. So today, we're going to be previewing the season opener between the Tennessee Titans and the New Orleans Saints. So hurry up, go hit the concession stand, and bring me back a beignet. Welcome to From the Cheap Seats. Welcome, glad to have you. I'm your host Bonafide and this is From the Cheap Seats, the show where we preview and recap all the action from the Tennessee Titans this season. So every week, like I said, we're going to be previewing the upcoming matchups as well as doing recaps after the game. So let's we're going to give you our honest and unfiltered emotions and our reactions all season long. So let's dive in right now. So it's week one, season opener, baby. The Titans versus the Saints. So we go on to New Orleans. Is that how they say it? New Orleans to play the Saints. And I think the last time we played the Saints, uh, we beat them in OT on a Marcus Mariota TD pass. Uh, I was in Cabo St. Lucas for that game for a friend's wedding, and I was in the hotel room going crazy when we scored that touchdown. It's been a while since we played the Saints, uh, and back in those days, those were dark times. So that was a bright spot for us. So the Saints brought in Derek Carr. Uh, who signed to be QB1 this offseason. Uh, Slant God, a.k.a. Michael Thomas, is back. Uh, he's healthy, so he should be racking up those uh, slant yards at any given time. Probably not against us, though. Chris Olave, though, is their dynamic wide receiver from OSU. He had a banging uh, first rookie season, so I'm expecting to see good things from him this year. Um, he's going to get more targets now that he got Derek Carr. Uh, the Saints defense, defense, we know they got cam jordan and uh they're expected to continue to wreak havoc on the thing so uh yeah that's the that's uh, look at the saints you know i really don't follow the other teams like that so that's that's what i see in the media you know i'm focused on the titans and speaking of being focused on the titans this is the debut for tim kelly and this new offense now in a recent video that i put up here i talked about the offense and also uh i, I talked about the defense as well um and i know this is going to sound weird I know that the offense is what we've been talking about all along, just offense, 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 offense. But I'm actually kind of interested to see how the defense is going to look. I mean, this pass was some, something about it, man. Something about having this many legitimate pass rushers on this defense uh, in this front seven is, is really, like, getting me hyped for the game. So I'm interested to see that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm interested in seeing the offense. But right now, I'm interested in to see what this defense can do. Um, so, especially about that, you know, so I'm actually going to the game. So when you're seeing this, I'll probably be on a plane headed to New Orleans. There's a few Titans events that are going on. So I'm trying to capture that footage and then from a tailgate and then, you know, I'll put it in a recap video for that. I plan on going to a few more Titans games here in Florida. Uh, maybe try to make one home game in Tennessee. So whenever I go to a game, I'll try to catch as much footage as I can and put it up here. So you can see what it is from a fan's perspective. Uh, so moving on the injury report who's in and who's out now normally this video would come out on Friday after the final injury report was there but I, I had to drop it because you know, I'm gonna be traveling um, so I think for all accounts and purposes uh, we're going in here relatively healthy our, our injury report is really short uh, I'm gonna put it up here on the screen I think the only one that we were really concerned about was Burks was he gonna be able to go uh, alongside DeAndre Hawkins and it looks like past two practices he's been a full participant with the knee so i'm pretty confident in saying that he's going to be a go like we'll never know until those last minute tweets come out from jim wyatt about the uh who's in who's out but I'm, I'm, it's pretty safe to say that burks is probably going to play arden key is probably going to play um so the only person that we're kind of waiting on trying to figure out is um Harold Landry, he kind of came, he was on the injury report with a little abdomen thing, maybe, and they've, he's been limited, I think, in his participation, so maybe he's got that little thing, maybe that's the only one that I'm kind of like up in the air about, definitely want to see what the report is on Friday about, you know, Harold Landry to see if he's actually going to go, but I think he's going to go, so I, I, I don't foresee us being, missing anybody else, so really, really healthy, um, so, 
we're gonna be keeping an eye out that and like i said when the tweet comes then i'll probably retweet it so hopefully jim y and then we'll put it out on um it'll come out on friday the official one and then we'll see who's questionable who's you know out things like that but then you know obviously right before game day you really know who's acting and who's not so we'll keep an eye on that on that Gridiron Gambles, which is sponsored by Music City Bets. You can follow them on Twitter at Music City Bets on X Twitter for all of the gambling plays. So our Gridiron Gambles play of the game is Derrick Henry over 80.5 yards. Right now, when I got the play from Music City Bets, it was uh, 110, negative 110. So, uh, Definitely looks like he's going to hit that number, so that's probably a solid play. Uh, easy win to start your your your, your season off with a with a uh, with a dub. You know, get some units in that bankroll. Cause remember, it's called gambling, not cashing out. All right, so that's the play of the game. Your gridiron gamble. Good luck to you. Now, in this last segment, is this the start of the Tannehill Revenge Tour, uh, and does it get off to a roaring start? Now remember. I made another video a couple of weeks ago talking about is, is Tanner Hill underrated or being disrespected? And I told you off the rip. Not a big, really, really a big Ryan Tanner Hill fan, but I am on board for the Tanner Hill Revenge Season Tour. I think he is going to get off with a bang. We got DeAndre Hopkins, we got Burks. He's got this new offensive uh, philosophy. Um, and which leads me to this. Today, I read an article about Joe uh, Rexroad from The Athletic, and he wrote an article about Tim Kelly and how he came, became, you know, how his coaching, you know, journey became and how he became a part of the Tennessee Titans uh, for a while. So um, what he said, and he spoke about the offense in there, and what he said is, is that the offense is kind of like a hybrid. You know, you, you got the West Coast offense. I think this is called the Erdhart Parkins offense. It's in the article. I'll put it on the screen what it actually is, but it's not even that. It's kind of a hybrid offense that he's kind of formulated for the team. But what it is is that it's not it's not control. Like one of the things he said is that the line doesn't control the protections. Ryan does. And so this is a vastly different change from what we're used to. So this means Ryan has the power to check the line. And he's got multiple options to him. So he is in control of the offense. He's calling protections, things like that. So I am, um, this is the debut. So this is really what we're going to see. We didn't see him all preseason. I think we saw Tanny Hill for three snaps and there were three handoffs to Ty J Spears. So this is really the first time we're seeing this offense in its totality on the field. And Dep yeah, game one is is really one you really can't hang your hat on, but I would like to see some positive movement. So if Tannehill is going to start off this revenge tour uh, with a roaring start, he needs to start off good this game to make sure that he can build off that momentum. That means, you know, calling out predictions. That's me attacking the throwing the ball down the field, attacking the defense. Uh, that means, you know, not standing there and getting hit when you can throw the ball away so we shall see but that's what i'm going to be looking for at this game uh from the stands i'm going to see how he looks how the offense looks how how that goes again i'm more excited about the defense but i think you know the way this offense produces could could uh, go a long way so my final thoughts i'm, I'm super hyped as you can tell I, I just finished watching the uh the lions beat the chiefs which was <laughs> A good game, good game, good game. Um, but we've made it to that season openers. Everybody's 0-0 except for the Chiefs. They're now 0-1. and um, Everybody, with the exception of the Cardinals, because, man, they are in a tank-a-thon, uh, thinks that they have a shot at the Super Bowl. You know, you got the AFC, just our, our, our division is loaded. We got Aaron. Joe Burrow, who just got paid today. Uh, Mahomes, you got Josh Allen up there in Buffalo. You got Lamar Jackson in, in Baltimore. I am, it, it, it's packed, so I am hype about this season. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited about to be able to go to the actual season opener. I already got my tickets. I just saw them today in the inbox to go to the game at the Caesar Superdome to hang out with fellow Titans fans, to, to get that overall game day experience. So, uh, like I said, we're really gonna get a good look and see if all of this preseason work that Ryan Tannehill and Nuke were building together, this chemistry, how, is it really going to pay off? Yeah, we're not going to hold one. We're not going to hold one game against them, but we really need to see some, you know, the fruits of their labor per se. Uh, so, um, 
<laughs> this is my prediction. So we're on on the season. Preseason, we got it warmed up. So my prediction is that we're going to pull out the win. We're going to beat the Saints 28 to 10. I think um, Derek hits the gridiron gambles play. So we make money off of that. Gets over 100 yards. DeAndre and Traylon combined for 160 yards total. And they get two TDs. And the defense gets two sacks and two turnovers. So I think we pull out the win and we beat the Saints 28 to 10. Uh, still not scoring 30 points, but it's... We're getting there, all right? So, if you made it this far, I'm glad to have you. Uh, don't forget to tune in to the next episode on, probably on Monday, we will drop that, uh, talking about everything that happened in the game. And we'll see if this is gonna be a good episode or a bad episode, it depends. Like I said, this is a fan's perspective, so some of my stuff is gonna be a little bit off. This, <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. So, make sure you like, comment subscribe and share it to all of your tight friends because like i said there is plenty room in the section for all of us all right so thank you for joining us today on from the cheap seats tighten up